France. He's a chef for crying out loud. Guys, 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 he's talking, and you guys are talking over him. Just play it back. Set it the right there, yes. Welcome to Chef Croutons first vlog. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make the best salami sandwich. Mm. He thinks he's a vlogger like us. Wait, he's meant doing a sandwich tutorial. Everybody knows how to make a sandwich. My mama Mia and my papa Pia, they are very sick and this sandwich will cure any illness. Well, not any, but most. Guys, he's talking about his mom and dad. They're sick? Isn't he French? He's making them a sandwich? And now we put him in prison? And he can't make his parents sandwiches anymore? Look at this, the chef is such a sweet guy. He's making sandwiches for his sick parents. I thought he was French. Doesn't French people call their parents mama and papa? You're right, <laughs> mama mia's Italian. Come on! Whoa! Oh, what is it, Daniel? I think I'm onto something, guys. Jeez, Did you guys see that? No, what? what? You guys saw, Wait, nobody what? saw that? What? I'm the best detective who ever lived. No. Okay, tell us then. I gotta rub it in y'all's faces. <laughs> I'll be right back. Wait, Mama, come with me, man. Come with me. I literally don't see what you're talking about. Like, What's going on with them? I don't know. What's going on with the boys? What in the world? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look who's back in town. I'm the best detective who ever lived. I found nope. a clue you I... guys didn't find. It's only because I was looking through this and it was too big of a clue, too obvious. Tell us the clue already, Detective Daniel. I don't gotta tell you the clue. That's why I brought my trusty steed, Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit? Come on, Seabiscuit. Oh! oh gosh. Whoa! Okay, this has just gotten so much weirder. <laughs> you guys are so weird! Seabiscuit, show them what everybody missed. Oh, oh my gosh. Geez. This is it. That's not the mouse. That's not the keyboard. It's, it's over here. Over here. Like you that. guys. Wait. Look behind the chef. What is that? What do you see? Sea biscuit. Oh. Do you see biscuits? Are you... Oh. No, you don't see biscuits. I can't see anything. Oh. No. Me and Sea Biscuit, we spotted the perpetrator in broad daylight behind the chef. Look, somebody's stalking the chef. Aha! The just chef. as Regina and I suspected, the chef is innocent. Exactly! You just proved yourself wrong. <laughs> I might have proved myself wrong, but I proved something, that's for sure. Listen, the two of us ain't big enough for this town, as they say. What? I think you mean this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Maybe that's what they say in your neck of the woods, but here in cowboy country, we say it my way. Here in London, we say, cowboys ain't allowed. You ain't got nothing on me. Look at me. I'm dark and moody and no N-O-I-R. Boy, you need a magnifying glass to see things. I just used the eyeballs the Lord gave me. Well, he didn't give you any good ones. Why don't you say that to my face in my territory, boy? Want me to come over there in your goofy looking place? Hey, this is the place to this where we find all the clues. Let's see about this. <laughs> this place ain't nothing but a bunch of cowboy boot, pickup truck, backwaters. Mm. Hey, eating. Good day, mate. I don't know anything about clothes. I didn't even see the guy in the background. Let me kick my boots off. I stepped in a bunch of cow dung earlier. You know what? What? Get rid of this thing. The point is, the chef is innocent. The stalker. That's what I've been saying. Is stalking him.